Now let us look at the second important life processes that is a respiration. So we discussed about the first life process that is nutrition. It is a life process by which the needed materials are supplied to the organisms. Why the materials are needed? The materials are needed to get energy to carry out their activities, to survive and to maintain their bodies. So the supply of materials is required and materials are supplied to the cells. Now what do the cells do with materials? The cells, they need energy but the materials are supplied. Carbohydrates are supplied to the cells, proteins are supplied to the cells, amino acids and fatty acids are supplied to the cells. So what do the cells do with these materials? Actually they need energy. Of course they need some materials. Along with the material they need energy. The energy is in the form of these materials, chemical energy. Energy is packed in the materials. Energy is packed in the glucose. Energy is packed in the amino acid. Energy is packed in the fatty acid. So how the energy comes out of these materials? So here in the process of nutrition the materials are supplied which have energy. Energy is there. So from the materials or from the molecules energy has to come out and this is achieved by the another life process that is respiration. So respiration is a process in which energy is liberated out from the nutrients, from the molecules like glucose, amino acids and fatty acids. So these are the molecules, the primary molecules from which energy is derived, most primarily glucose. Glucose is a major source of energy. Of course, at times amino acids, at times fatty acids also liberate energy. They liberate the energy by a process called as respiration. So respiration is a very complex process. It involves different processes. See, nutrition also, nutrition in the sense supplying the materials to the body, but this is done by that, done in different ways. So the organism, it has to catch, obtain its food. So that is also a part of nutrition. How an organism is eating its food is also a part of nutrition. After eating, the food is converted to a simple form, that is digestion, that is also part of nutrition. After digestion, the digested material has to be absorbed. Utilization of nutrients, that is also a part of nutrition. So nutrition involves so many stages. In the same way, respiration also involves too many, so many stages. In general terms, in general notation, if someone says respiration, so most of the people compare the respiration with breathing. So can you, uh, if you are asked to tell whether an organism is respiring or not, you will observe its movements, its ribs are moving. So air is passed in and passed out. You can say that yes, respiration is going on. Simply you can say that breathing is going on. But breathing is only not the respiration. Breathing is not the complete respiration. So breathing is a part of respiration. Breathing what happens? We take the air in and we leave the air in. That means for the process of release of energy from the molecules, air is required. So which part of air is required? Oxygen is required. So we are taking the air in which contains the oxygen that is supplied to the cells for the breakdown of these molecules, glucose to energy. So glucose to energy. What is this process? Respiration. This is also respiration. But it happens inside the cell, it is cellular respiration. So here what is needed? Oxygen is required. From where does this oxygen come? Oxygen is supplied by the process of breathing. We take the oxygen from the surroundings by the process of breathing. And in this process, when the energy is released from the molecules, Along with the energy, what is released? Carbon dioxide is released. So this carbon dioxide, it has to be sent out of our body. So carbon dioxide, it has to be sent into the atmosphere. Whereas from atmosphere, oxygen has to be taken in to our cells. So some gases are required by the cells. Some gas has to be sent out of this cell. So this is achieved by breathing. So when respiration is going on, which gas is released? 
carbon dioxide is released. So we can prove this, the carbon dioxide is released during respiration. We can prove it with the help of an activity. Let us see. Now, let us see an activity by which we can prove that carbon dioxide is released during respiration or we can prove that the gas that is present in the air which we leave out or which we exhale is carbon dioxide. Means whatever the air we are exhaling out it contains carbon dioxide. From where it is coming? It is coming from the process of respiration. It is generated in the process of respiration. So this can be proved with the help of an experiment here. So here for this activity you need two test tubes with freshly prepared lime water. So don't misses, misunderstand this is a lemon water, lime water made up of calcium oxide mixed with water. So that is the lime water. So when the lime water reacts with carbon dioxide it forms calcium carbonate. So you have taken freshly prepared lime water, you know how to make lime water, you have learnt in your chemistry lessons. So in first test tube say it is A, here you kept a straw. And with the help of the straw, you started blowing out air. So from where does the air comes from your lungs? That means the air which is being expelled, exhaled. The exhaling air is blown into this freshly prepared lime water. Slowly what happens? The lime water turns milky. Milky. That means lime water reacted with carbon dioxide and calcium carbonate is formed. CaCO3. So calcium hydroxide to calcium carbonate is turned. Now let us look at the second one, second test tube label it as B and in this test tube also you have taken freshly prepared lime water but here instead of blowing air you are using a pichkari, a syringe, a syringe or pichkari or something which you have uh, to blow the air. So such kind of uh, syringe you have taken and you are blowing the air, you are pumping the air into this water. Just you are pumping the air, air which is present in the atmosphere. So now let us see the difference. Here, here also the water may turn milky. But it is very slow and very delayed, it takes very long time. Here it becomes quickly, quickly, here slowly. Because the percentage of carbon dioxide present in the air is very less in the outside air. But the percentage of carbon dioxide present in the exhaled air is more. So here it happens quickly. So what does this experiment shows that the air that is exhaled during breathing it contains carbon dioxide. And also it tells us that this carbon dioxide is generated in our body in a process called as respiration. Now let us look at one more activity. Respiration not only takes in human beings or in higher animals, even in the simpler organisms also respiration takes place, even in their respiration also carbon dioxide is released. Say for example if we take the example yeast, of course the way the reproduction takes place inside the cells may be different between yeast and uh, human beings. But finally here energy is released in the respiration that is common, energy is released along with energy carbon dioxide is released. This is also common in any kind of respiration, carbon dioxide is also released. So here let us take the example yeast. Let us see whether the carbon dioxide is released or not in case of yeast during respiration. So what we are doing here, we are taking a small container or a test tube with some fruit juice, fruit juice or sugar solution. So see that the fruit juice or sugar solution are not too cold, they are having a little bit of temperature means that they are lukewarm. That means the activity of these organisms and the respiration is optimum at this temperature. So in this add some yeast yeast. Where do you get that yeast? We can get it from a bakery. In bakery the bakers use the yeast to raise the dough to make the cakes and bread. So you can find the yeast in bakery. A baker's yeast you can put some yeast and keep it closed. 
Now fit a cork which has got one hole through this and this through this hole put a pipe into this solution. So you have taken a glass pipe which can be bent by heating. So with the help of that glass pipe you have bent the pipe in this shape. So it has got two bends here. The one end of the tube is entering into this test tube which is containing the fruit juice with yeast. So here you closed it with a rubber cork. So by that there is no chance of the gas which is formed here it cannot escape. So there is no chance because it is closed. So this gas it has to be passed only through this tube. So whatever the gas is released here this gas it has to pass through this tube in this way and you arranged the tube to enter into another test tube which is having freshly prepared lime water. You know that if the gas released here is carbon dioxide whenever it reacts with this lime water it makes the lime water milky. So what do you think what happens here even the yeast of the organisms that they carry out respiration when food is available here that means the fruit juice is the food it contains the sugars on which the yeast feeds so the yeast convert the sugars to alcohols and in this process energy is derived energy is liberated along with energy what is released in respiration carbon dioxide so the carbon dioxide gas is released which is captured into this tube and it passes to the other end of the tube and finally enters into the lime water where it reacts with lime water to form calcium carbonate which makes it to turn milky. So this experiment proves that carbon dioxide is released in respiration and this experiment proves that even in case of respiration of yeast also carbon dioxide is released. So by these experiments we can understand that in the process of respiration carbon dioxide is released. Now let us see what exactly happens in this respiration, cellular respiration. That means the respiration which is taking place inside the cell. The first phase is transport or supply of gases. Oxygen is supplied that is by breathing, inhalation, exhalation. So in this process the lungs and other parts of our respiratory system help that is to get the oxygen. Once the oxygen is taken by the lungs, the lungs have blood vessels which supply this oxygen to the cells. Now inside the cells this oxygen is used to derive energy out of the nutrients, out of these molecules. So how this process takes place? Is it a single step reaction releasing energy from the foodstuffs using oxygen? Do you think it is a single step reaction? Definitely not. So it is not a single step reaction. It is a series of reactions. It is a chain of reactions in which slowly step by step energy is released from the nutrients. So along with the energy some carbon dioxide may be released, some carbon dioxide is released and some toxins or waste materials are also produced in this process. Now let us see the different stages of this cellular respiration. If you like this video please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.